Good afternoon. A group of researchers working with the Chinese Air Force claims that they have achieved a breakthrough in radar technology. And this technology is said to be able to track in real time our F-22 stealth fighter jets. Their research was published in the Journal of Beijing University of Aeronautics on 26 February. And they explained that their new radar system can make a stealth aircraft show up on radars as a regular fighter jet. The RCS here, that's the radar cross section. It's how much of an airplane shows up on a radar screen. Stealth aircraft are almost, not entirely, invisible to radar because their RCS is so tiny because of their shape. These researchers claim that their radars show the stealth aircraft on their screens just like a typical fighter jet, which has a cross section of over six square meters. This implies that their new technique amplifies the radar signature of the F-22 60,000 times, which makes the aircraft much more vulnerable. They also said that they can locate the F-22 in a very large area, a combat zone of 24,300 square miles, and that they were able to calculate the F-22's speed, position, direction with great accuracy. The term for this new method they've used here is called smart resource scheduling, and it involves super fast shifts of radar pulses to the most exposed parts of the aircraft. And using the smart resource scheduling, they claim they only need three radars working together to make the system work properly. And those radars can be anywhere, land, on ships, or airborne. They say that their resource scheduling can identify the coordinates and the speed of an F-22 in eight one thousandths of a second and can track individual aircraft in an inbound F-22 formation in 0.2 seconds. The most important advantage of the F-22 Raptor and the latest generation of stealth fighters and bombers is their ability to fly undetected by enemy air defense radars. If they can get to within 60 miles, 62 miles, they can launch missiles at targets and if they're dropping bombs, they need to get to within 12 miles. Stealth is what allows for that, allows them to get in close. The United States stopped production of the F-22 in 2011 because of high costs. They just cost a fortune to build the things. And the plan is to retire the aircraft from service completely by 2030. But we did spend $11 billion upgrading the existing fleet of F-22s a couple of years ago. We have 186 F-22s, 11 billion divided. That's $60 million or so each for the upgrades. Today's goodbye video is from Hunan province. Be good. Father and the children. Probably a good son.